Good morning, YouTube. How's everybody doing today? Um, today is Friday. I stayed last night um, in Texas, uh, just outside of Amarillo. It was absolutely lovely in McLean, Texas. I uh, stayed at a, a short uh, but really well-located Harvest Toast right off of Route 66. Uh, Interstate 40 and you know just a nice grassy area uh, it wasn't windy it wasn't too warm the dogs absolutely loved it there was a steakhouse right next door um, the good thing about staying at some of these locations right off of the interstate is that you can get to a grocery store cafe get your morning coffee and this one had a steakhouse um, right beside the freeway, which was really nice. So the dog and I ate steak. Um, but uh, yesterday I got the chance to stay in a, uh, uh, to use a Love's um, shower for the first time while I've been on the road for these six days. Uh, it was great. And I'm hoping that once I've accumulated enough gallons onto my Love's points card, that I'll actually get to use those showers for free. Um, the other option when you're RVing, I looked up last night, a couple of different options, but um, one option would be to get a gym membership. Um, not really an in indoor gym person. And so I'm gonna try to avoid that, hoping that I can get um, the frequent uh, gas points and just be able to use showers along the route. And eventually I'll have water going in the RV. So that'll allow me to grab a, a quick shower if need be. Um, but stayed at a really nice place. The dogs and I had some great steak last night. Um, and just cruising on down the road. It surprises me so much that uh, uh, Arizona, Arizona seems to have horrible potholes, uh, but Texas, Oklahoma, into, into Missouri, they all have smooth sailing freeways. I don't know quite why Arizona doesn't get with it and repair some of their, uh, their freeways. It's kind of silly. Um, but I uh, really have enjoyed the historical nature of Route 66 uh, this trip. Uh, stopped off in Shamrock, Texas this morning, which had a lot of music back in the 40s and 50s. They were a big producer of music. Um, Shamrock, Texas is uh, a nod to their Irish uh, descendants that came to the U.S. to live here. And um, so it's just a cute little town, cute little gas stations and really fun um, little uh, shops and stuff, uh, grocery store and, and gas stations and all that good stuff. So I um, am just cruising today, not doing uh, too much, uh, in route to stay with my friend uh, in uh, Missouri tonight and look forward to being at her uh, little uh, ice cream parlor shop because she does a really good job on Facebook of posting her specials, her food specials and whatnot. So I think it'll be really fun to uh, drop in and, and eat out of her uh, ice cream shop for the evening. And uh, the dogs are really settling in. Now that I've gotten the RV really dialed in and got it filled up with water and just kind of getting a better idea on how that goes, uh, the dogs are really settling into it. Uh, they don't quite like getting in the car every morning, but uh, we're not driving too much every day. We're just driving four to six hours. Today we're doing six to get to uh, my friend's place tonight, but um, been very relaxing. Overall, very impressed with Harvest Coast. I have to say that's such an amazing app if you're an RV, if you're the RV type. Um, I also downloaded 
a couple other different apps, uh, Road Trippers, and one other one that I'm going to check out and see what they're like. But pretty much everything is on Harvest Host. Whatever you need, wherever, you, excuse me, wherever you need to stop. Um, and then I've now downloaded uh, Flying J's app so that I can utilize that one in the event, but Love's app is super useful. They um, keep all the updated gas prices posted, so you can kind of look ahead 50, 100, 200 miles to see what gas is looking like down the highway. Um, obviously, going from west coast to east coast, gas gets incredibly cheaper. <laughs> I think when I left LA, it was right at $5 at the cheapest place, uh, spiking somewhere around six fifty dollars in Los Angeles, and um, now it's down to $3 now that I've gotten into Texas. Um, Amarillo, Texas has super cheap gas, and generally the... Um, truck stops about 45 minutes outside of each city has the cheapest gas. So I just try to look ahead and and see uh, what's coming up and what, what's on my way. But once you get past um, New Mexico, then gas tends to be pretty average down. I mean, honestly, it's right around 3, 3.15 a gallon. And that's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's awesome. You know, um, a lot, and a lot of people ask me, you know, what's the breakdown of traveling cross country versus traveling on a plane, you know, and if you want to get somewhere quick, that's your thing, but I don't like flying on, on airplanes. I, I just don't. I, it's fun. It's fun to jump. It's fun to fly to Thailand and it's fun to get free cocktails and, and wine when you're flying internationally or to have a, have one pay for it and have it uh, nationally but in general I don't like to fly places and the biggest turn off of that is that I wouldn't be able to take my dogs with me um, now being able to pull an RV behind me is night and day it's totally uh, next level to have an RV behind me but, but legit, I would not be able to have my dogs with me. And that's uh, one thing that I learned when I did five months on a movie out in Rhode Island uh, two years ago now, is that I ultimately have decided the next five years that I'm gonna devote to uh, being with my dogs. It was so difficult and sucked when I got back and had realized uh, that my, you know, that I wanted to spend time with my dog. So that's the main reason why I don't even care about gas when it comes to right down to it. Um, and so ultimately, uh, I just write off the gas as an expense, a uh, yeah, business expense for that matter, but more or less, um, I don't care about gas about what I have to pay gas-wise. But I was just going to do a quick rundown that I've tallied in my head. Um, if I was to fly from Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky to Los Angeles, California uh, on the cheap airline Spirit, which I know some of you guys probably don't like Spirit, I could fly Spirit for about $200 round trip. And that's great. I've definitely utilized that before. It comes with its own hang-ups, but it's worth it. But if I was to fly a regular carrier, it would be somewhere around six to eight hundred dollars to fly from Louisville to uh, Los Angeles and back. Now, just so if you hit the gro up the grocery store, if we're not calculating in gas, uh, I can say though with gas, I'm getting better gas mileage uh, now that I've figured out how to pull an RV with it with my Jeep, I'm getting better gas mileage on the road, traveling on the freeway, than I would commuting around Los Angeles, and that is insane, but it, but it's great. 
So that being said, um, other expenses. The Harvest Host annual membership that I have is $99. The first Harvest Host I stayed at, I tipped, so I went to Vegas, which I stayed for free, so I guess that's my own perk. Stayed for free, didn't cost me anything. The second night I, I tipped them $20 because they didn't have any sort of goods to buy. So I, I did a donation to them for $20. The second Harvard Harvest host I stayed at, uh, I bought three bottles of wine for a total of $60. I easily could have just bought one, but I bought three because I wanted to support this uh, uh, retired couple. $60, you know, five or ten bucks in snacks here and there. Uh, $17 yesterday for the shower. And then uh, last night at my Harvest Toast, I spent uh, $20 on a t-shirt and a bottle of barbecue sauce um, for, you know, as the donation to them for letting me stay there. So other than that, I mean, it's, total, it's definitely less than what a flight would have been, you know. Um, if you want to factor in gas, I would say that I spent roughly a hundred dollars a day on gas so maybe for pr probably five or six hundred dollars to get one direction you know so gas does get expensive uh, if you factor it in but if you're just out traveling and you're out having a good time then you know to, to be able to commute maybe a uh, hundred dollars a day of gas um, and yeah so that's uh, that's my video for the day. I hope you guys uh, are enjoying the channel and enjoying the tidbits. I'm still uh, pinpointing how I want this channel to go. Uh, I am going to get uh, some sort of mount for the car and I am going to get some mini tripod or something to be able to uh, do some on-site videos of some places that I stop at. But other than that, uh, you guys have a great day and I will see you guys down the road.